Yo, 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 we're in Alexander Valley today. Let's get it. Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Wine Wednesday. Happy Wine Wednesday. I am your host, J. Tom Gunter, owner of Grapes and Sam Publishing. Hey, what up, my fellow winos? Welcome to another Wine Wednesday. And I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Um, before I get into the wine, because as you can see, we have a nice little bottle sitting right here, ready to go, itching to get drunk. Um, join us this, well, actually join us tomorrow, um, which is Thursday, uh, at Calabash. We're going to be having a game night. Uh, we'll be pouring our uh, winemaker of the month's um, wines, um, actually cans, because he has like his wines, he has canned wines, really, really cool. Um and I cannot wait to introduce you guys to this guy. I'm going to be uh, interviewing him earlier in the day. And then we'll have the uh, the game night probably around, I think, 6-ish, 5-ish, something like that. Come through, have some fun, have some drinks, have some great conversation. Let's laugh. Let's uh, eat some really good food and have a good time. So uh, other than that, I also have um, something really, really big coming your way soon. Uh, just stay tuned. I have, I have a couple of announcements. <sighs> That I'm working on uh, that I can't wait to uh, drop on you guys. Sorry about that. Um, and then also, um, go catch up on all of my wine and words of of encouragement. Um, I am doing my last two episodes. I'm on episode 48. I got two more, 49 and 50. And then it'll be the end of the first season of Wine and Words of Encouragement. So please... Please check that out. Um, basically, the show it's, it drops every Monday, and it's uh, me over a glass of me talking about a glass of wine, then also really getting into the stuff that I really want to talk about, which is uh, things things I've learned on the journey of my uh, of life, uh, whether it is uh, relationships or uh, business wise. So, uh, just I'm dro dropping a couple nuggets. Some may work for you, some may not, but. Um, I drop a few nuggets on that and I got 50 episodes out of it uh, for the first season. So please go check that out and stay tuned for the next two that are going to be dropping uh, this next Monday and the Monday after that. So anyway, let's get into the wine. Today we're in Sonoma. Uh, at least they're sourcing fruit from Sonoma, I should say. Uh, their actual location, they're pressing out of um, Santa Rosa, I believe. Um, this is Alexander Valley 2019 Zinfandel. It's called Franklin and Franklin Saint Pierre. Oh, Franklin Song Pear. Um, and yeah, 2019, here's the label. You guys can see that, hopefully. So, being totally honest with you, I've had this, I had this one time before, I had this last week. And um, I was impressed. So, I was like, okay, maybe let's check, get another bottle, see if it's bottle variation. If this is really good, then I want to uh, review it on camera and, you know, let's see what's going on here. So, let's get right into it. On the nose. I'm getting red berries. Um, I get red red berries. Um, I get some spice here, really, really nice spice. Interesting. I'm getting leather. I'm also getting like a uh, nice little kind of like dark chocolate going on here too. I get dry, like uh, dry farm soil, like like really, really hot dry that if you're walking if you've ever been in like a vineyard or you've ever been on like a farm and it's really really hot outside and you kind of get this kind of like pungent like smell that's what i'm getting right now in the nose i'm getting a bit of nutmeg here too which is really cool i would just open up this bottle by the way some black cherry and some cassis let's go ahead and taste and see if everything's translating to the palate This bottle does not disappoint. Not in the least. It's delicious. Great grip. Um, rich. This is a full-bodied wine. Um, this try for tannins and acid. Tannins are medium plus. Acid is medium minus. Um, Finishes long. This has a great mouthfeel. Uh, I mean, talk about velvet. Kind of reminds me of the approach of a uh, big Cabernet as far as the mouthfeel here. Very silky. Um, let's talk about the fruit and other nuances. Yeah, up front, 
kind of this black cherry, uh, red berry thing going on, kind of uh, doing a nice little tango down your palate. As it gets into the mid, uh, in the mid palate, you get a little bit more of this kind of like uh, chocolatey, uh, it's kind of like a chocolatey nutmeggy thing right there in the mid palate. And then as it gets into the uh, third to fourth quarter, you're getting a little bit of pop of spice. Um, and like a little bit of like a, a current, like a black current here too. This is a wonderful wine, very complex, but very well tailored and put together. Um, I'm sure the alcohol is uh, high on this one, but it doesn't even matter because it's so well balanced. The fruit is so lush up front and balances out um, the, the alcohol going on here. I really, really love this wine. Highly recommend this wine. Um, I'm going to drink the rest of this bottle tonight. I'm telling you that. Even because, you know, I shoot the night before. Um, I actually post this. Um, this is actually uh, Tuesday. And so I got this whole bottle to myself. And I need a bottle today. Yeah. It's been a, one of those weeks. So can't wait to dive into this. But other than that, um, if I'm scoring this wine, Wine Wednesday will be right back. If you like poetry, I have two books for you from Grapes and Sand Publishing. We have Voice of Truth, and then we have Thieves in the Night. Go check them out. Go to grapesandsand.com or click on the link in my bio. Cheers, guys. Now back to the show. I think I'm going 91 on this. Um, I, I should review more Zinfandels. I really, really do love Zinfandels. The grape, I just rarely, for whatever reason, I buy Cab or I buy Syrah in its place a lot of times. But uh, I'm going to do more Zinfandel. This is delicious. This is Old Vine, too. Um, so I'm excited uh, for you guys to try this out. If you do get a chance to try it out, please uh, DM me. Let me know what your tasting notes on it, are on it, if you liked it or not, didn't like it. I am curious about that. I want to I want to interact with you guys and engage you guys a little bit more. Um, also, if you have a favorite Zinfandel, put that in the comments. Actually, that should be the question of the day. Question of the day, what's your favorite Zin? Please put the name of the label in the comment section. Um, other than that, guys, uh, definitely check out my wine and words of encouragement. I can't wait for you guys to uh, check out those that first season. It's really, really cool. Um, drops on Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff. Facebook, whatever. Um, and, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Um, this week, it is... My lady's birthday and my grandma's birthday, they're born on the same day, different years, of course. Um, and so big shout out to my grandmother, who's turning 94, 95, maybe 95, Jesus. 95 still is a, a whip. She still remembers everything. She still uh, calls us on all our stuff. Um, we can't get away with anything and she keeps her three-story house in San Francisco immaculate. So she is no joke. And she's by the... By the way, she's like under five foot doing all that work, all that cleaning. So that's my grandmother. And then my lady, I could not do any of this stuff without her support. Um, a lot of stuff going on. And she's always been there, been my rock. And um, I really do appreciate her and love her. And I cannot wait to celebrate her birthday on Friday. So um, anyway, yeah, to those ladies, cheers. And to you guys, thanks for checking in. Cheers.